side as they arranged the flowers in the vase, lost in thought. It had been a month since your arranged marriage to John Jungkook, yet you remained strangers living under the same roof. With the large mansion provided you every material comfort, you found yourself lonely. Jungkook spent long hours at work and said little, even during meals together. You knew his family pressured the union to expand business connections and Jungkook made it clear from the start that he didn't believe in love or commitment. Not that you expected romance, but a little kindness would have made your daily coexistence less hollow. Setting the waist down, you wondered what drove your husband's cold indifference towards life's simple joys. Lost in the memories, you didn't hear Jungkook return until he cleared his throat behind you. You turned, hands nervously smoothing your apron. Welcome home, Mr. John. Shall I bring your dinner? Jungkook's eyes swept over your bare-faced form, lacking any ornamentation. In the dining room, I have paperwork to finish. He spoke as he made his way to the dining room. Of course. You gave a small bow and hurried off, scolding yourself inwardly for wishing things could be different. This was the arrangement you must adjust accordingly. Over the following weeks, you fell into a routine serving Jungkook's needs, be it home-cooked meals, clean clothing, managing household tasks, all without complaint or acknowledgement sought. You knew he found solace in detachment and didn't want to add further stress to his pressurized corporate roles. Strangely, even as a caravan unappreciated outwardly, you found purpose in keeping your home functioning smoothly. It gave you distracted day structure and allowed you to contribute something however minor. Maybe one day, your consistency would earn a hint of respect from the distant man you called husband. Unknown to you, Jungkook had begun observing you quietly from the corners of his busy scheduled life. He noted how you rose each dawn to meticulously plan healthy meals, how tender hands polished every surface till the mansion shone, how a kind word or smile greeted every staff despite your own lonely existence within these worlds. Everything ran like clockwork due to your efforts behind the scenes, yet you never demanded or expected thanks. The opposite of his entitled, status-obsessed social circle always fishing for praise. Your selfless nature stirred strange foreign feelings Jungkook didn't want to examine closely. It was simpler to keep a distance from everyone, especially the women who was legally obligated to him, however. Jungkook secretly understood that your attention provided him with an uncommon escape from his ruthless business world every night. Over the past few months, you had subtly made a place for yourself in his strict daily schedule, whether he liked it or not. You were dusting the couch one day when you suddenly felt lightheaded, grasping the couch firmly. You willed your blurry vision to stop. Nausea increased and a chilly sweat appeared. You strongly attempted to stand more upright, but the room whirled wildly. Your senses were taken over by darkness with a gentle moan. You woke up half asleep and found yourself curled up in your bed. You had a damp towel on your forehead and closed curtains, letting in the light. When the door opened, you sat up gently, confused, as to how you would end up here. It was Jungkook, not the maid, who entered, carrying a tray. He looked up surprised for a minute to see you awake. It appears like you are back to normal. How do you feel? You looked at him, taken aback by his unexpected kindness. He only indicated that you needed water by pointing to your dried lips. Understanding, Jungkook filled a glass and helped you in sipping gradually. In the living room, the maid found you unconscious. You have a fever. Given your deteriorating state, 
the physical activity must have been too much for you. His calm demeanor revealed a deeper concern that followed his stern features. Color rose in your pale cheeks. I'm sorry for the trouble. Please don't burden yourself on my behalf. Jungkook frowned at your apology. Just focus on recovering. Maids will take care of housework if you focus on healing. With that cryptic order, he turned to leave. Wait. Your soft plea made him pause. Thank you for your care, Mr. John. A moment of fleeting silence greeted your eyes as an unspoken, understanding passed between you. And with that, Jungkook was gone, leaving you to wonder at this sudden window into the mystery that was your husband. During the days of forced bad rest that followed, Jungkook personally brought your meals and medications and stopped by from time to time to see how you were doing. When tiredness overwhelmed sensitive health, his customary abruptness vanished giving way to an odd tenderness as he assisted you with eating or drinking. It caused so much confusion and gave you butterflies in your chest that you hadn't felt in years. You were cautious not to place too much meaning in simple gestures of kindness because you didn't want to develop expectations only to be let down. Upon regaining sufficient strength to stand, you discovered the mansion immaculate evidently cared after by more employees employed with your absence. Jungkook even sent you flowers and a note wishing you a speedy recovery, signing off with his name alone rather than as Mr. John. Your bashful and loving side burst into a blossom at your husband's unexpected act of kindness. In the days that followed, gaps appeared in Jungkook's distant exterior concerning you. During dinner, he would ask you how you were doing and would engage you in polite conversation. When he got home from work, instead of feeling empty inside the walls, he was relieved to see your smile and soft presence. One night, after everyone had gone to bed, Jungkook went to the kitchen to get a glass of water and come upon your cleaning. In the soft moonlight, a locked eyes and an indescribable, unsaid feeling flowed between you. You should rest, I can finish here. Jungkook offered gently, which surprised you. You nodded, I swam. Thank you. Good night, Mr. John. As you turned to leave, Jungkook's voice stilled you. Jungkook, you may call me Jungkook. A soft gasp escaped your lips at this unexpected intimacy from the distant man. You smiled, eyes luminous. Then good night, Jungkook. I felt a peculiar urge to know this woman for real as you heard his name on your lips. However, it took time to tear down all walls, and Jungkook wasn't yet prepared to face what your kind care was staring with of him. For the duration of tonight, an understanding had been established. With subtle cracks emerging in your respective personas to draw the curiosity of those observing your art pairing, as you watered the flower pots on the balcony and released a peaceful Saturday afternoon, you sighed with satisfaction. It had been a month since your recovery and you had spent days in Jungkook's strangely watchful care. He remained respectfully distant, but there was a new lightness to your exchanges. Conversations at dinner became easier as Jungkook asked you about your hobbies and interests outside of work. You discovered that by talking about little moments with your cherished family back home, you might find serenity in things like cooking or gardening. As he listened intently, Jungkook was shocked to discover the loving, caring person hiding beneath your calm exterior. 
His determined temperament was made easier to bend by her excitement for life's little pleasures which fuel his desire. But the old wounds remained, and it felt impossible to open his heart after holding it closed for so long. You were so lost in your thoughts that it took a shower to cover you to see that Jungkook was coming. With a shock, you looked up to see him carefully, studying your work. His hard features softened a bit by the afternoon sun and an expression that was impossible to figure out. Jungkook shuffled awkwardly, avoiding your curious gaze. I was wondering if you wouldn't mind showing me your garden someday, only if you have time, of course. He asked hastily, unknown by such a rare display of vulnerability seeking something as simple as your company. You beam, eyes crinkling into crescents, warming his cold heart. I would love to. Come, let me give you a tour. He showed him around joyfully, pointing out blossoms and telling passionate stories about planting and caring for each bud that had Jungkook enthralled. He was enthralled by the blossoming of joy and sincerity on your face as a care for nature's creation with motherly affection and for the next topic. He forget his drive and his responsibilities. Here was a woman embracing life to the fullest rather than existing for years on end as a non survivor like him. His heart was worn down at the glimpse into her soft nature, threatened to open up new channels of light. As the afternoon wore on, Jungkook took you inside and expressed his deep gratitude for giving you a peek into your healing retreat. With a smile on your face, you bid him goodnight with a warm that evoked feelings too deep to address just now. Lost in thought, Jungkook strolled upstairs and paused in front of the beautiful artwork, portraying his parents on your wedding day, a loveless union of duty and want quite similar to his own mother frequently regretted that he had adopted his stone father's demeanor and denied himself sentimental pleasures. However, after witnessing your blossoming among your flowers that day, Jungkook wondered whether there might be a different approach to construct something significant despite beginnings based on family practices rather than genuine love. One fine day, Jungkook was working on some projects. He was looking serious and nervous about the work. You entered the room as he had not come for dinner. Jungkook, why didn't you come for dinner? He asked in a slightly demanding tone yet concerned. I will eat later to have it. He replied, looking at his computer screen seriously. No, Jungkook, I will eat only when you come with me. It's already getting late. What about your health? Vyan, I said I will have later. Leave me alone. I'm sorry. You have to come with me now. I care about your health. You went near him and closed the laptop, causing him to get up from the chair aggressively. What the hell, Vyan? Why are you mothering me? Can't you see I'm working? I'm really tired of your protectiveness. Please leave me. I need space. He shouted at you while his face expressed anger without his knowledge. But already damage had happened to your heart. His anger and words made you recall someone whom you thought to forget years ago. But now past trauma hit your brain at once. I'm sorry, you apologized and quickly left from there, holding tears in your eyes. As I stood in the kitchen, trembling in fear and pain, you couldn't help but recall the past trauma that had haunted you for years. But now, as your husband shouted at you for being protective once again, 
the memories came flooding back. You could feel the same terror and pain that you had felt. It was like you were reliving that moment all over again. In that moment, you realized that your trauma had never truly gone away. It had just been buried deep in with you, waiting for the right trigger to resurface and Jungkook's angry words had been that trigger. As you tried to compose yourself and calm your racing heart, you couldn't help but you wonder why Jungkook was so angry. You had always been protective of him but never to point of being overbearing. He had always been out of love and concern for his well-being, but he seemed to see it as a weakness, a flaw in your character. Later that night, you slept on the couch which was in the living room. Jungkook, who just came near you to apologize as he realized his earlier behavior towards you, he was feeling guilty for shouting at you. His guilt increased when he saw your tear-stained cheek. He kissed your hair gently and silently left from there, thinking he would apologize to you in the morning. Next morning, Jungkook got ready and came down thinking you would be in the kitchen for breakfast. He wanted to apologize but words stuck in his throat. Is breakfast ready? He said something when you looked straight at his face. You simply nodded instead of opening your mouth and told the maid to serve him before heading to your bedroom. He realized you were hurt by his words, but he doesn't know it was your fear. He started remaining silent as you decided to. Jungkook was going crazy about your behavior. You stopped taking care of him like before. You told maid to take care of his things. He was feeling lonely and empty when you don't talk to him or care for him. He really missing your old self. Why, I need to talk to you. As usual, you didn't respond to him and were about to walk away. But he stopped you by holding your wrist. I'm sorry, you had to witness that ugly side of me. Please believe me, I never meant for you to be hurt. He gently put his guilt over your well-being, his heart constricting at your constant concern, even now. You shrugged, calm falling over newly opened wounds like fine dust. You couldn't have predicted this but it's okay, please don't bother yourself over me. I will be okay. However, Jungkook was able to see through the thin layer and catch glimpses of underlying fear that attempted to overcome the powerful spirit. He gently gripped your shoulders and pleaded with you with wet eyes. I'm sorry for everything, Vine. I did not mean those words. I was in tension. Please forgive me. Jungkook, I'm not angry with you. I was just scared. You paused as you realized words slipped from your mouth. Scared about what? About me? Nothing. You were about to leave, but he stopped you again. Please don't close up anymore. Please let me in. Despite our distance, you have only had a few moments and I would like to fully understand you. What exactly is bothering your heart? You hesitated, years of building, an armor of solitude breaking beneath his gentle regard. You spoke in a shaky whisper about the trauma that caused you to carry a persistent fear of abandonment. Growing up, I had lost my mother to an accident. I experienced father's love, but I did not know mother's love. But when I met John, he showed me that love in the beginning. But slowly started detaching from me, he started attracting to someone and blamed me for being protected towards him. He abandoned me for being a caring partner. After you shouted at me, you reminded him and I was scared you would abandon me like him. I don't have intentions to get your love in the beginning. I thought at least we can be friends. 
but suddenly you acted good with me which raised feelings in me but after knowing your thoughts i felt i am absent more of you as i listened intently jungko clasped your quivering body to him his heart exploding with compassion as his suffering struck a deep chord in his own closed heart he finally felt comfortable enough to let someone to see the agony he had kept concealed for so long and you find unexpected comfort in his strong arms that surrounded you like a shield this was the first genuine closeness that went beyond a shallow marriage rarely softly jungkook said as sobbing turned into hiccups muffled again as shirt i'm sorry i really didn't know this you should not be afraid of me at all i promise that i won't give up on you either please one give me complete access and i have faith in my support drawing back to examine his intense stare he noticed sincerity shining through his well honed patience the entire time his genuine concern and acceptance ignited a delicate light in your guarded heart giving you hope that maybe you weren't destined for a long and suffering as you had been thinking for months you touched the damp cheek of jungkook with shaky fingertips wiping away the last of the tears and inhaling him in like a soul mending deep wounds finally spaces between walls were opening up allowing light to warm to previously dry hearts that were beginning to bloom wine i didn't expect i would say in this kind of situation i love you wine trust me i really love you happy tears formed in your eyes upon hearing his confession i love you too jungkook a small smile formed in his lips before keeping your face gently and kissed your forehead with all his hidden love and affection towards you thank you for watching